Got a whole bunch of Redivus stuff back here, but we're going to test the RA86. I think this is the answer to the VTEC V20. This is Redivus's answer to the Midland. I've had some time to play with it. Let me give you my thoughts. Be right back. All right, so I had the opportunity to get my hands on one of these relatively new Redivus RA86 radios. Um, from I got it from the uh, South Central Texas uh, Redivus rep uh, that, that I've become friends with. He's a great guy, um, and uh, he, he, we kind of horse traded, and he goes, Hey, take, take this radio. It's yours to keep, and you can do a review and use it. So... I appreciate you, Mark, for, uh, for for letting me get my hands on this, and uh, I've already taken it out of the box. I've already used it, and I'm not I'm not going to start dogging too too early. But I will say, for anybody just wanting a radio, you don't want to have to program anything or program much. You don't. You just want to pick it up and use it. This is a great radio. Um, Right now on Amazon, you can get it for $135. Um, on the Redivus website, it's like $180. Bucks. Don't pay $180 for this radio. I, I, once again, I, I don't want to start knocking it too early, but for, for what you get here, close to $200, I wouldn't pay it. So what comes with it, you get the small unit, right? The, the actual radio. You do get about 15 feet worth of coax and this antenna. Don't let the size fool you. Um, and then everything that you need to operate the radio is in is in the, the handheld unit. So this is just like the Midland. This is just like the, the B-Tech V20. Um, but it's a lot more dumbed down. And and I don't mean that in a bad way, but but there's some things that, that we're going to go over that uh, you may or may not like, depending on how much you want to do with the radio, all right? <laughs> so just, just to begin, it's one channel monitoring at a time. Of course, you have scan, right? It will scan. It's not a very fast scan, but it's a scan. Um, this is not programmable, so you can't put the name of the frequency, you can't add any more frequencies, you can't delete, it's just, it is what it is. There's not even a port on the radio to program it. So, in some people's eyes, that's a good thing, because they don't, they don't want to be dealing with that shit, right? So, they just want to be able to pick it up and use it. Now, here, the instructions are, are great instructions, and, and I'm, I'm kind of jumping into some of this early on. But here's the, if you can see it, I'll, I'll take a better picture. Here's the factory frequency chart. So it comes from the factory with all the BS tones put into all of the channels. So just to monitor, right, you're going to have to go in and, and take all of those off to begin with, which it's not hard, but if, if you don't do it, you're, you're not going to hear anybody, uh, you know, uh, with, with those tones put in there. So the other downside to this radio, and, and you'll see when I do the, uh, the, the power test, uh, and we'll talk about it a little bit, you cannot transmit on this radio on any of the FRS frequencies. I think it has to do with them not being able to get the the power low enough because I think you're restricted to what half a watt, right? Well, low on this is is five watts. High power is twenty, but as you'll see, you aren't getting twenty. Um, that, that just drives me nuts, especially for a GMRS specific radio. There's no reason you you shouldn't be able to dial that thing into what you're advertising it to do right so few few little quirks there um, you have your channel up and down you have your power your menu button we'll get into that in a minute you have your weather I'll show you that later you have your scan and monitor and then your call and your your button lock and then this is your volume 
So really easy to adjust the volume, unlike on the uh, the BTEC. Um, there is a speaker inside the mic. You have a speaker on the actual unit itself, um, and it is a very crisp and loud speaker. Both of them are. You can toggle between uh, handset only, the speaker on the unit only, or you can do both. Um, show you some of the menu features. There's your power level. It's not. You're only going to be able to do it on the upper GMRS frequencies, changing the power from high to low. Um, all the lower frequencies, I think one through, well, I can tell you right here, one through seven. Make a liar out of myself. Let's see. Uh, yeah, one through seven are all low. So the only ones you can change are going to be... 15 through 22 and then the repeater frequencies they can go higher or low um, so let's go back menu well so it will allow you to change the band from narrow to wide when you're setting tones you do have to use the chart that they give you um, just like with the, the Midland BTEC the BTEC V20 is not the same but for all your CTCSS tones, here's the table. And if you want the DCS, well, then you've got to use this table. All right. Um, let's go back. Menu, narrow, wide. Your tone, that's your send and receive, right? Or transmit and receive. You can set your squelch, your mic gain. You can turn the repeater feature on or off. Uh, they have call tones that you can set, key tones, Roger Beep on or off, Vox, I don't know who uses Vox. Uh, your cutoff time, 180 seconds I think is the max, your backlight, your brightness of your backlight, sleep timer, and this is where you set which speaker you want to use, and then that's it, that's, that is it on the... Uh, on the menu options and, and and it lists them all in the in the manual as well the one thing I can tell you since you cannot add channels um, add frequencies right um, if like me if you travel and there's a repeater in San Antonio on channel 17 and you have the tone set and I go to Houston you're gonna have to go into the radio each time you go back and forth and if there's if there's a repeater on channel 17 in Houston, I've got to switch the tones to match it while I'm there. So it's a it very basic. Um, I mean, if you if you stay local, if you stay just in your town, and you only want one channel displayed at a time, it's great. Um, you know, we've gotten to the point with our group that that we monitor two repeaters here in the Medina County area. So this wouldn't be a great radio for, for me to have permanently, but I mean, I'm thinking like my mom. She wants a radio in, in her Jeep, and um, I think this would be easy for her. She, uh, I, just just because I had I had to write down the the channel numbers that, that they are because I, I, I'll forget, but when I was testing this, if I wanted to flop between, um, between channels, I would have to look at my paper to determine, make sure I was on the right channel. So I'm going to show you this. So this is a simplex frequency, and if you hit channel up, it shows the little mountain with the arrow, so that indicates you're on 15 repeater. Channel 15 without the little mountain with the arrows, you're on simplex. All right, so that to me that takes a, a little getting used to, but once again, if uh, let's just say we're, we're out doing something and I just need to give somebody a radio, this would be a great unit to give them. Set it on the channel, lock it down, plug it in. It, I mean, it, it, you, you have your cigarette lighter plug, uh, you got a, a, a good little antenna. This would be a great radio for that, or just somebody who just wants something easy to use. Um, so let's do a range test. So I I did it a little bit different this time 
you know, I always go to the Hondo airport and it's west of here and it's relatively flat and, you know, we'll test handhelds from there and, and always have good luck. So I wanted to try out something a little different this go around. I went east, a little southeast, down to a little town called Lacoste. And my guess is it's probably about 12 miles away. I'll, I'll look at the map and get the, get the real numbers. But there's a lot of terrain between uh, the shack here and, and Lacoste. So I, I wanted to change it up knowing that, you know, I knew it wasn't kicking the full um, uh, uh, 20 watts. Um, I hadn't put it on the meter, but I suspected that it wasn't. Um, and I knew I wanted to use this factory antenna you know, no gain, just just a little kind of kind of cheapy, but you'll see that on this range test it did really well. So let's take a look at that. All right, let's give this Redivus RA86 a test. WRJC 281 radio check. Okay, this is using the stock antenna uh, that came with it, this little little stubby guy I showed you. It's on top of the roof, in the middle. I don't know if I'm getting out. Maybe I'm just barely tripping the repeater. Let's try it again. WRJC 281, radio check. Right, and you are as well. I'm in the Dollar General parking lot here in Lacoste. Um, there's quite a bit of terrain between us, the big hill and everything, so just wanted to change it up instead of going to the airport. We know it works from there. So, all right, well, I'm going to head back that way. WRJC 281, I'll be monitoring. WRTG 235. There you go. Let's hit the weather button and see how it's coming in. So we're not picking up any of the weather frequencies from here, which is really strange because we always get channel 7, uh, weather channel 7 around here kind of strange that we're not getting anything at all so hmm. have to check that out when we get back to the house all right let's go see the power output on this thing so as you can see we had a few hiccups with the weather and look it's not working oh. all right so it it's it was not working in the car at all, but once I got it back here in the shack, it was working. I know I have this antenna, or the coax all coiled up, and that's sitting right there. That's why it's not working well now. But in the car, it made no sense why I wasn't picking up any weather frequencies. Um, not, not a bad unit as far as the audio is concerned. Everything is nice and crisp, as you could tell from the, from the demo there. Let's hook it up to the power meter and uh, see what she can do. All right, here we are testing the Redivus RA86, advertised as a 20-watt radio. We're on one of the um, channels that allows high power. We're going with the middle set of numbers. So, well, if I could point. Let's see, hold on. I've shown all this before, so it's we're going to go with the... Not the five, not the twenty, but the ten. It's advertised at twenty here, but let let's see what it's going to kick. Ready, set. So we're right over fifteen watts. Um, so that's that's not good. Let's try it again. Yeah, just over fifteen. Let me get it to a low power. Channel. Here's a low power. Let's see what that's kicking. So right at five watts. 
So that's the lowest they can get it, and that's going to be why uh, you're not allowed to transmit on the FRS channels on this. It just totally blocks them out. Um, you would figure they would find a way to do like a low, medium, high, so you could at least transmit on the FRS channels, but to be compliant, I guess they decided it's just easier to do it that way. So, um, a little upsetting. Uh, if you're going to advertise a GMRS only, GMRS specific radio at 20 watts, and you only have that small spectrum of frequencies, you would figure you could hone that in and, and dial it in right at 20 watts. So, kind of getting shortchanged a little bit. Uh, so, not not impressed on the uh, the power output. But as you could tell from the, the range test, I mean, it did work. We had some terrain between us with that little bitty antenna. So, um, but for those of you who are like me, and if it says 20 watts, you want 20 watts, well, little, little upsetting. All right, let's wrap this up. All right, so closing thoughts on this RA86. Um, I think I've already kind of said everything. I wouldn't spend $180 on this radio. Um... 135 yeah for somebody once again if, if you're just getting into it good starter radio somebody who doesn't want to know how to program doesn't care to learn how to program but you also don't mind not having extra channels for frequencies uh, you know that with different tones different repeaters you're not going to do it with this it you know once again very basic um no quirks uh other than missing five watts, having the few issues with the with the weather uh, monitoring button, um, it's solid. Uh, you, I mean, you can see here. There's there's not much to it, and it can go just about anywhere, right? Um, so I I don't I don't have any issues with the functionality. Um, and, and what it could be used for. I mean, this could be permanently mounted. I, I'm going to keep it as a, as a backup. I'm going to buy a little uh, Pelican case for it and keep it in there, keep it in the car in case anybody ever, uh, we need to hook them up with a radio. It, they're going to have it, and it's it's easy to install and then, and then operate. So that I, I'm, that's what this is going to be used for. Um, if you have one of these, let me know in the comments what what you think about it um on a scale of one to ten i'm probably going to give it a seven and a half let's go with seven and a half um just just because mainly it's missing those five watts i read of us i just wish you'd get it right these guys these guys this is a 10 watt handheld it's like nine and a half watts it is uh these these are some beasts from Redivis. These are the RT29, and uh, we've everybody in the, in the React group has bought one. We have a few on order, um, but those are those are good radios. I just I just wish that they would put out what they advertise, or just sell it as a 15 watt radio, right? Quit blowing smoke up people's asses and call it what it is. So that's really my only beef. Um, Join us on my uh, Facebook group, Medina County, Texas, GMRS. I uh, would love to see you there. We're up to about 200 uh, folks in the group. Uh, a lot of good conversation and uh, about uh, GMRS stuff, React stuff. Um, you know, you'll get uh, a lot of feedback uh, from from the, the, the group if you have questions. And uh, we'd love to see you there. I appreciate you watching my videos. I know it's been a while. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get a few more reviews going on here soon. Uh, just had a lot going on with uh, getting React. Uh, our first event worked. I'll flash a few pictures. And uh, a lot of training, as I'd mentioned on a, on a previous video. But uh, I, I really appreciate all of you watching, taking the time to comment and, uh, and liking my videos. I hope you all have a great day. Stay out of the heat. It's hotter than the hubs of hell here in Texas right now. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Y'all take it easy. Thanks.